Hallman Wiggins, our wide receivers coach, is departed for what he thinks is greener pastures out in Aggie land. Well, that leaves a vacancy for the Crimson Tide. To many fans, they've been asking for Hallman Wiggins to depart. And maybe this is a blessing in disguise as the speculation starts to rise as to who could be his replacement. One name starts to manifest that maybe fans weren't thinking about. He's been on the sidelines for a lot of Alabama games. Been doing so for quite some time. He's actually a resident of the state of Alabama, and that's Hall of Fame wide receiver Terrell Owens. Folks, let's talk about it real quick. Why does this make sense for Alabama? What does this do in terms of recruiting? And how much of an impact could T.O. make with this young group of wide receivers? We'll start with Petty, then go on to Chris, then Lushan, and Dan will close it out. Yeah, our, our lead guy, Matt, was telling us earlier he was putting in his resume up at the capstone and he saw T.O. sitting in the room putting in his resume. So it kind of, you know, he just kind of turned around and walked off at that point. Um, No. Hey, man, that's instant, re- instant name recognition. Every kid still knows who T.O. is. I don't know about the coaching aspect of what he brings, but how does he not bring a pop in recruiting? Yeah, it's T.O., man. I don't know, man. I, this is crazy. This is new to hear. That's my first question is what does T.O. know, you know, as far as the coaching aspect? But he was one of the best receivers to ever do it. So he's got to be able to, to to pass that knowledge to kids. But I think the biggest pop comes in recruiting, name recognition, having him on that sideline. No, Chris, this is just wild speculation, and I think it would definitely be a huge splash if it were to happen. What kind of impact does T.O. make on the sidelines of Alabama, and can his work ethic actually carry over to the young generation who maybe may not have the same mindset as players in his day? Let me start off with this. What's every kid's, not every kid, but 99% of their goal, receivers, wide receivers go to play in the NFL, right? When you talk about the top five receivers of all time, who name comes up in the top three? The first three you name, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, T.O., Larry Fitzgerald, Marvin Harris, and guys like that. T.O. is mentioned in the top three. He's, he's my favorite receiver of all time. And the guy works out so hard. Like, he he has a work ethic that's relentless, that's, that's contagious. Like the time when he was doing – Sit-ups in his driveway <laughs> and with the camera crew around him. He was working out. The energy he would bring to that receiver room with his wealth of knowledge and his route-running ability to, to be able to be hands-on with those guys. I mean, he's worked with former Bama receivers when he, whenever he came to town. His name rings bells, man. If T.O. came to my house to recruit my kid <laughs> to play for Nick Saban, I mean, how could you say no? The, the dude is a legend. He's great. He's a Hall of Famer. And he's young. So, I would definitely, I would, oh, T.O., take my kid. Oh, I got another son behind me, too. Oh, take him, too. It, it's a no-brainer, man, as far as recruiting. The, the the Alabama brand recruits itself. And then if you have a guy like T.O. sporting it, that, that would be crazy. And then just his knowledge of how to get over, how to run routes, how to sit down in zone, how to beat man coverage. If they line, if they line up this, how to attack this, how to – he can, he knows that. He can show it firsthand. So, to me, that would be a no-brainer. I like your way of thinking. Now, Lushan, we're here recently. Coach Prime has been the spectacle in college football, whether it was at Jackson State or now at Colorado, and it turned out to be more circus than football. If T.O. comes, how do we prevent that from happening and actually turn this into a great thing for Alabama's receiving core? I think it, it basically boils down to where he's at in his career now. He's not the same eccentric player that he was when he was playing in the National Football League. He's a refined, very good, very professional man. And I think one of the biggest things, if not the biggest thing, he would actually bring to the wide receiver room, and most importantly, the team aspect, is his grit. He ha- He has an ability in his preparation to have grit. And there's been very few players to actually have that mentality and they be successful in having that grit. But he has an attitude the way he plays football, a decisiveness that has been missing. And on top of that, he shares Nick Saban's value to the process. And just getting him in here, I mean, like everybody said, it's T.O. It is a no-brainer. There's not a kid that's going to question Terrell Owens at anything flat out 
T Terrell Owens would be a spectacular thing. Getting a man with that type of experience, knowledge, and just just all his resources, all the people he's came into contact to his whole career, that is just an asset that would just count wonders. And off the talent we have, just think of Terrell Owens in our, in our room for three years and the wide receivers he's got. I mean, he, we, we're putting six wide receivers in the first round flat out. I agree. If you get him in there, too, you don't have to worry about him being like so many of these, of these other coaches, one and done. I don't think he has any aspirations to be a head coach anywhere. So you would definitely get some longevity there. Dan, you've heard what these guys have said here on this illustrious panel. If you're Nick Saban, why do you pull the trigger on T.O.? The coaches that we've seen from Coach Saban, they've either been a guy that Bama made or a guy, a coach that was on the men, a la Sarkeesian, Elaine Kiffin, Bush Jones. I would challenge Coach Saban to, to consider bringing in someone like that that kids can relate to. The legend, proven winner, proven workhorse. He's proven to have a wonderful relationship with the youth. So I would challenge Coach Saban to consider it at least. Bring him in for an interview. The challenge is laid out right there, folks, for Nick Saban. Does he take that challenge? I think it'd be something worth exploring. I want to know your thoughts now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button in the comment section below. Show us some love. Is this something that Alabama football needs, especially next year, as we look to the 12-team playoff and the SEC itself gets a whole lot more competitive? That'll do it for us. Roll Tide.